Hi, I'm Hilary Dunstan. I'm one of the Friends of Zoo Boise board members, and I'm also a local endodontist. Uh, endodontics is uh, the branch of dentistry uh, that con concentrates on root canals, and so I am a root canal specialist. And recently, one of the lions here at the zoo needed a root canal, and so Dr. Holman uh, contacted uh, my, myself and my business partner, and we came in and did a root canal on uh, one of the female lions. So from time to time, the animals, especially some of the large cats, will break their teeth. And if they break their teeth so that the nerves are exposed, then they need a root canal, and that's how we know. So when Dr. Holman does their annual exams, she of course checks their teeth as well. And so we've been called in a few times to work on the animals. And um, just for reference, a person's tooth is probably about this long, about 20, 20 millimeters. The lion, uh, has a tooth that's about 120 millimeters long. So uh, we do have to get specialized instruments to do the root canal. Uh, it is uh, pretty much the same procedure, just on a much, much larger scale. So one of the job hazards I have working on people is that occasionally somebody tries to bite you, uh, which of course, if you're working on a large cat, uh, that becomes even more significant. So when we first started working on them, of course, uh, it is hard to wrap your mind around the fact that you're in a room with a sleeping lion. When they take a big deep breath under sedation, it can be pretty disconcerting. So before we begin the procedure, Dr. Holman makes sure that the animal is very, very, very asleep. Uh, and then we access the canal space and we use very long files, about 120 millimeters, to reach all the way down to the tip of the root. And as we're doing that, we also rinse the root with a lot of disinfectant, uh, a diluted sodium hypochlorite solution. And basically roto-rooter out the inside of the tooth so that any bacteria that have gotten inside cannot cause an abscess. Uh, we also do take x-rays as we're working to confirm uh, that we're all the way at the tip of the root. And then when we're done, we pack a filming inside the root. And again, it's just like a root canal on a person, but on a much, much bigger scale. And when the opportunity presented itself, we had to do some research. We had to look into uh, how and, uh, and even why would you do a root canal on an animal at the zoo. Um, once they break their teeth, uh, they're, you know, they can still use them, um, but why not extract them? And the answer to that, turns out, is their roots are so long that if we were to try to extract the tooth, we would actually break their jaw. And so these are some of the cool things that I've gotten to learn through working with Dr. Holman here at the zoo and applying my people skills to the animals.